Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, we're gonna find out if the DigitalOcean Premium Droplets are worth the extra money. Back in February 2021, DigitalOcean launched a new line of premium droplets, which included both Intel Xeon and AMD Epic processors. The Intel Xeon is a second generation scalable processor that boasts a base frequency of 2.5 gigahertz and a max turbo frequency of 3.9 gigahertz, while the AMD Epic processor ranges from 2.0 gigahertz to 3.35 gigahertz. DigitalOcean is offering these premium droplets for just $1 more per month on the smallest plan, which equates to a 20% price increase across all the basic droplets. Now, while these specs sound good on paper, the question is, are these new premium droplets worth it? And that's what we're gonna be taking a look at in this video. All right, guys, just so we're all on the same page here, let's compare the base frequencies that these processors operate at. I used the LSCPU command to determine this, and your standard droplet has the slowest clock rate of 1.79 gigahertz, while the Intel droplet was measured at 2.49 gigahertz, and the AMD droplet came in at 1.99 gigahertz. Next, I ran a few basic hardware tests to see how these droplets performed in a controlled environment. I used the hdparam command to test the solid state drive performance, and for cached disk reads, the AMD droplet came out on top with a speed of 7,444 megabytes per second, while the Intel droplet surprisingly was significantly slower than the standard droplet. As for buffered disk reads, AMD crushed it again with a speed of 1,229 megabytes per second, while the standard droplet was about half that speed. That's great and all, but next I wanted to see how fast the premium droplets are able to deliver a web page compared to the standard droplet. I started out by installing Nginx on each of the three droplets and used the default Nginx landing page for my first set of tests. I then stood up a test server in the same New York City data center, installed sitespeed.io, which is a website speed testing software suite, and proceeded to run 100 throttled back-to-back -back speed tests to each of the three droplets. As far as the time to first byte is concerned, the premium droplets were noticeably faster with an average response time of 313 milliseconds, but when looking at the time to load the full page, every droplet took around 520 milliseconds, give or take a couple milliseconds. Now that was probably too simple of a test to get any meaningful takeaways from by itself, so next I set up the latest version of WordPress on each droplet and installed the Elite Business theme. Same as before, I ran 100 back-to-back -back page speed tests to each of the three droplets, but this time I did not enable throttling. For time to first byte, the AMD droplet was the fastest at just 33 milliseconds, then Intel at 44 milliseconds, and the standard droplet at 54 milliseconds. As far as the average time to fully load the page, the AMD droplet came out on top again, and both premium droplets were at least 10% faster than the standard droplet. So the AMD droplet seems like it might be the best bet, but one last point I wanna make about these premium droplets is the fact that they are only available on the basic plans at this time, which if you're not familiar, share CPU resources with other customers. In my opinion, if performance is truly a concern of yours, then you probably shouldn't be using shared resources to begin with. I hope that all makes sense. If not, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. Like this video if you got some value out of it. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.